screw Logan, screw George. We start our own show and we take over. We take over all of this. They need to get El Chapo out of prison. They need to release him because back in those days, everything was all good. You got a 62% female <laughs> audience. Let's talk about Barbie. What are we doing? Wow. Wow, well, it's good to be back, huh? Shoes. Yeah. Welcome back to Jews. Jews. No. Sorry, I hit the wrong button. What the? Was that seriously an accident? <laughs> no. I can't believe we had a podcast called Jews at one point. <laughs> it was a parody, a one off. I don't think it's anymore. Hold on. Jeff. A little rusty on the on the ones and twos, but you know what? We're back. We got our favorite duo on YouTube, the best duo on YouTube, as as so many of you say. Happy to have Mike back in here. Tensions were high last time. It was the day before Christmas Eve. <laughs> Shit hit the fan real quick. You know remember? that was the one time <laughs> with the get fuck it. out, oh, get man. the fuck out. It's, Everything's fake. Your fucking oh, friendship man. is fake. It's that was the been a month. Remember? That was the talk of the town. The talk of TikTok. The clips the books, went viral. That was crazy. And there was a lot of questions and you know feedback around that. What went wrong? What went wrong? Why did it happen? Was it handled properly by the staff? Mm -hmm. But it's more so by the manager of the corporation. Yeah. What I mean, looking back, have you have you and Steven fixed your your you know your trickle down? We fixed it. We found out where the problem was, and it was Hey, let me guess him. It was you. <laughs> you on, instigated dude. the clip. Everybody yeah. on TikTok. No, look, no, TikTok no, no, comments. No, no, no. TikTok comments don't lie. Those people see the truth. You got you edited that. You no, bro, no. I asked a simple question to the team in there. You which, cost me my biggest, strongest boy. And now he's gone. He doesn't want to do podcasts anymore. He wants to focus on TikTok because he feels he gives too much of himself here and he reveals that. too much. He's like an actor. He's like a Christian Bale. Would you see Christian Bale sitting on the in the corner on a podcast? No, because he's got to protect his his the enigma, mystery. the mystery yeah. that he is. If he gives away too much, because bro, once you show who you are, like imagine me going out and you know Try next do week movie. doing a movie as an African American jockey for a horse race. He's acting. This is do you know what acting. I'm saying? Yeah. Like no one would believe that. They'd be like, uh -huh. no, I know this dude. He's not. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So luckily, I don't know, maybe that was a bad example, but yeah, that's all right. You know, it, we we, we it, they can all be fucking ten out of tens. But you know what I'm saying? Like it just just wouldn't work, bro. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, we're 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 totally good. We talked. We had a nice two hour phone call yesterday, and it felt good. What did you guys, um, what did you guys cover? You know, the lanes we want to go in our careers and you know, I'm um, obviously I just tried something new. I did that documentary investigative journalism on the fentanyl crisis in the United States Saw that. and the border. Great, border very crisis. important watch. You thought I was sort of joking at the time. <laughs> Why would I ever think something like that, Jeff? You Why would I, I wasn't, think you were joking? You thought I wasn't being serious about it, but I had an idea for a piece I wanted to make of investigative journalism and you mocked me. You said this is, you're making fun of people. I wish you were more involved because this is like, it seems like it should be a mic project. It should be what you're doing. Yeah, I mean, you had funny jokes in it and you were there. It just, and you were there. It just wasn't like introduced to me properly. Like we went on this trip to, to Mexico to celebrate, to celebrate New Year's. I didn't even know if you were coming or not. You, you, you barely like made a commitment to come. You, you texted me that day. You're like, I'm on a flight. I'm coming in right now. And then when you got there, you were getting in the Uber, setting up the phone on the driver's dashboard, like plan. forward facing, saying like, do you know where I can get any candy? And they would be like, yeah, down at the store. And you'd be like, do you know where you can get Cocaina. any cocaine? And yeah. like, I'm sitting there like, bro, the cartel's going to kill us for this one, bro. Yeah. Like, you can't keep tagging it. And little did I know you were creating a PSA that little would be shown to schools. I am in the cartel now. Well, and I created a PSA. I spoke to some very educated people that, you know, I you can't. You didn't give me any of the heroin. Whoa. When did you say that? All right, enough of these. No, wait, wait, <laughs> enough what? of these clips. We're getting too carried away with wait, the AI. That stuff. one is crazy, <laughs> yeah. bro. What is that even from? That's bad. Your mom's gonna be pissed when she hears that. Was that supposed to be my voice? It is your voice. You don't remember saying that? Hit Play that again. Her. You didn't give me any of the heroin. It sounds That's sort of like Mike and, and it sounds like George and Mike. Yeah, mixed. it's not even close. Like, what'd you just take impulsive and put it through the AI machine? <laughs> it's a blended average. All right, enough. Of the three we're, killing, we're killing the joke of the AI stuff. Let's take a break from it. Unless we got something really funny to fucking dig up on Mike, make him say something like about Logan or something, you know, that'd be, that'd be nice. <laughs> Speaking of that, why am I not an impulsive anymore? Is it, you I'm, are. Is it because I'm doing these investigative journalism mixed up with the cartel? Are you and Logan scared? No, you're coming this weekend. We're going to Miami 
tomorrow. Yeah, but you've done like 10 episodes without me. We I haven't, haven't done been, a boys only episode. If we I haven't boys even only. been asked to go on a skiing trip or anything like that. I can't seem to get comfortable in this strange orange sponge chair right now. Don't just, change the subject. Why haven't I been on? Well, you're, you are. You're coming on. You're coming on this weekend. I got you on the Rick Ross episode coming up. and you gotta, I got you on? Like, you, like you're getting me in a club to see Logan? Yeah. I, had a, I don't I, fucking need this shit. I just mean I, I want LP texting me right now. Yo, you coming through for boys only? Is that going to happen? Price, stock price is up, man. You know, WWE, Netflix now. It's, it's, I got to negotiate those types of things. I got, I have to talk to his team to have a con I have to set a call time with his manager. Can I bring Jeff on this episode of Impulsive? Bro, I'm not no third fucking back end the good backup news, guy. The good news is the team approved it. Okay, the team approved it. What is this? Why are we pulling up Mike's channel? Because Mike's barely on Impulsive himself. Oh, yeah. Mike and Logan. That's a solid thumbnail. <sighs> Shout out, guy. yeah! Shout out to Dilla, my thumbnail guy. Don't give it, now he's gonna get hired by everyone else and char up nah, charge you. No, nah, he could never charge more than he charges me now. He he. How he much did you pay to get that thumbnail made? Four hundred bucks. Four hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> it's it. a, I mean, it, it was worth it in the end. <laughs> hey, you guys should just get in the thumbnail making business. Yo, he bang out ten of those a day. Four grand a day for thumbnails. Just making fucking thumbnails. You don't have to go risk your life in Mexico with the cartel. I Kyle, don't put cover those headphones. Don't listen to that. How how are you guys doing? H haven't talked to you. Uh, Oscar, you're engaged. Congratulations. Congratulations. Have That's we not spoken about that I on don't... the podcast? It's been a month. <laughs> oh, great, Jeff. Not at one time on the podcast you didn't say anything about it. I say things in real life, too, sometimes. No, you know, but I'm not saying that. I, don't try to gaslight me. Do, give a congratulations to your bathroom boy, dude. Yeah, he, I he said did it on the live. I. I did, right? Yeah. I did on the live. I did in real life. How many times do you want me to do it? You want me to congratulate the fucking doorman downstairs too? Uh, yeah. Hey, congrats on this job and this building that I'm fucking pissed off at Might right now. Might be nice, dude. How you treat your service workers is, says a lot about you. I wouldn't even call them service workers. Oh, here you we know? fuck. You just can't. I just can't get anything in with you, can I? Ask, are you from Guatemala? No, Honduras. No, Honduras. Honduras. Dude, I watched a, a wild documentary on Guatemala lately. The murder rate in that country is through the roof. Really? Crazy. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. The light no, bulb goes no, off. No, we ain't going there. Dude, they have a per capita murder rate there that just rivals pretty much anywhere. It's, I didn't I didn't realize how dangerous of a, a country, and I'm sure a beautiful country and a beautiful people, but they're, they're up against a lot of obstacles down there. I, I think most of Central America, I think El Salvador is the one that's like- El Salvador is very right bad. So and no, it's, it's, clean, it's cleaned up. Because like, they put everybody in prison. Yeah. Do you want to know what went wrong with that? They actually ended up uh, so, uh, you know, supposedly or allegedly locking up a lot of people that <laughs> were not- Gang members. So like, I don't know. Like, I, I watched. I, I watched a lot of documentaries. I'll be completely uh, so honest. So do with I. You. That's all I watch. And I watched one about this girl. Some, who, I've already watched every good movie. So now I have to watch documentaries, except for that movie Gattaca. We, we could talk about that later. I watched it. You told me to watch. There was a girl who quickly a girl that alleged that her parents were locked up in that in that raid in that mm -hmm. initial lockup because basically El Salvador it's MS thirteen right yeah they have a massive massive gang problem dude they're. Literally everywhere, like everywhere. all over Central America. That's why. That's why I fucking rolled with in county out here. MS thirteen. Yeah, one hundred thirteen burpees every day. Otherwise, you get beat up under the staircase. Totally. Even though I was a wood, but I was that was those are my boys, my people. So that well now they're all in jail. They put the whole basically they locked up all of them. They they and they went through a pretty aggressive roundup that some. Uh, uh, social justice pundits believe that violated the the uh, the the, the uh, God given rights of of human the human rights of some of these people because it was a pretty aggressive roundup. Now that's not something that I'm personally saying, but when you look back at it, I don't believe that there's ever been a uh, at least in modern times a roundup of that nature for one group of people or one or one uh, gang of people. I mean, they put th tens of Dude. thousands of these people. Yeah, in jail. there's like a mega <clears throat> jail. Like it's huge. And they were all, did you see the videos and pictures of them all like in a, in like huddled piles? I don't know. Maybe this isn't the greatest topic, but it's not the, okay. It might not be the, but you're onto something. You're onto something. I, I've been don't get uh, any ideas. <laughs> just going to infiltrate the no, prison. I'm, no, 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 no. I'm going to infiltrate all that shit. Listen, I think I really found my lane here and I'm excited about it. That video, I know you were like fucking, we were fucking around at the time, but it's probably the most fun video I've had shooting. I know that sounds insane to people because it's like, Yo, you almost got caught with your fucking spy glasses by the cartel and all this shit. And you'd like, it was really risky, but I just, I, I felt like I'm doing something more than just like making silly videos, you know, like yeah. I, I sound like an asshole, but I feel like it's just, 
If that video gets a million views and people see that the goal is to for that video to just show people how easy it is to test your drugs, make that the normal. You know, that's the, that's the new norm. Just get that little tester strip. You get them for free. We told people where from to get them for free. From Endoverdose, right? Yeah, from Endoverdose. I saw that. That's a very, very like credible and well-known organization. When I saw that, yeah, I am a little bit upset that I wasn't a part of it. And that I'm, shit will actually save at least one life. For sure. You know, that's fucking crazy. We can do that with YouTube. We talk about this all the time, you and me. We're like, what are we doing? This is fog and what am I going to do next? I got to quit this shit. I got to do a show. I got to do something, a new style. But I think we got to just go back to our roots, you know? I'm not saying go back to doing heroin. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I got just worse. I have some. <laughs> no, 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 it's got fentanyl in it. No, no, no. I tested all. It's got I, I dumped all that shit. I dumped everything. I fucking buried that shit. That I, stuff's crazy. It's yeah. crazy how much of it is in the supply of drugs and not just in opiates, but also in part in rave drugs and party drugs. It's really, really, really important, urgent that people out there who are who are experimenting, using recre recreationally, so on and so forth, to be bringing those strips. To every time, every time you purchase anything. Or not too late, buddy. Video's over. <laughs> <laughs> you want to try to save lives now? I already saved them all. That's it. Hit that bang, 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 Kyle. It is noted there you that. go. Look at me doing the fucking Lord's work. Hey, and I'm, I, you know, I'm doing Kudos. the Lord's work. Kudos, man. I wish I had just known a little bit more about the video. You to were me? slapping me in the face when I was trying to film. You well, were slapping Jeff, the I'm phone. You were like, you. you tried to hide drugs. In my backpack. Oh, when I was, uh, not, like, listen, if it was a serious documentary, trying to force you to participate. not put together by a PSA, a real driven, credible organization, would they hide drugs in my okay, backpack? I'm look, a fucking... There was some stuff that was edited out of the documentary. Oh, that didn't make it? Oh, you took that part <laughs> out? The part where you did antagonized you not watch it? me? Did you not I even told watch? you I skimmed through it three times. I did, was doing a closet cleanup today with Alex. I told you that. It's the best piece I've ever made. I will watch We've it. all ever made. It's the... I will certainly watch it. I watch all of your content. I'm a huge fan. I will watch it. I just was a little bit busy today. You know, I have my own life. Life as well. Heroin was the cheapest drug we bought out there. Oh, yeah. I Mike, mean, did you ever test your drugs? I didn't. Listen, times were different when I was doing what I was doing. Um, and it's actually <clears throat> crazy to me because I could admit this simply. If I was still doing what I was doing right now, mm -hmm. I would be dead. I would have died already yeah. because because it is it is so dangerous out there. No matter what it is you're using, not even just possible, but prevalent of an That's idea that there, that there is <laughs> fentanyl in your drugs. There's no fentanyl in blue chew. There's no fentanyl that is, that is, I, that is a <laughs> but you guarantee should we should it. test You should still you test, can test it anyways. Yeah. You only got to get a little tiny piece of it. It's crazy. It was, it, the whole process made me feel like I'm doing more with my life. And I, I just feel better about that. And I, I feel like we should team up on these things. I don't want to talk about it today, but I had a call today about the Mike Spikes work. With a, oh, woman yeah? named, with a woman named Joan. She's putting together a list of, of people that we can partner with. When it starts out with like, yeah, yeah, what if we button. say fuck Logan? Fuck. Oh, you can't even put fuck in the first fucking first 15 <laughs> seconds. Forget, forget, him, forget, but it's like Logan. saying fuck Logan, fuck Jacob Alordi. Hey, like look, he has nothing to do with it. Poor George has nothing to do with it. Why don't we do this? Why don't we team up? Screw Logan. Screw George. We start our own show and we take over. We take over all of this. You wouldn't meet together if we actually team up and we stop like this rivalry. Cause like you watch my documentary and I'm sure you felt like a little jealous of it. You know, there's probably a little deep root of jealousy. Don't lie. You know, no, there wasn't. Not really. Okay. Well, Cause I already did so much drugs. Then, but speaking of the drugs that you've done, you've done so much. You just said it yourself. We have a rare skill set. It might not seem like a skill set to the average person, but the things we're able to do, the way we can navigate these situations, I'm like fucking John Wick. I'm mm -hmm. martial arts trained. Mm -hmm. I'm weapon trained. Mm -hmm. I could fucking confidently go into these situations where I know I could protect us both, you know? Mm. And we will be most likely, I mean, if, if we could get shot or mm. beheaded or other things, but I think with our rare skill set, with your knowledge of drugs, with my knowledge of drugs, with my-, my Crime, you talk about Crimecast. Crime cast, yeah. <laughs> Dude, we've been talking about this shit for years, bro. Yeah, that yeah. shit's never happening, bro. No, it's gonna never. happen. It's gonna. No, it's no. already. It, uh, look, we're paving the way. This is there's. It's like kind of like Vice, kind of like what the Channel Five guy does. His his stuff's been really good lately. I've been watching his, Callahan. Yeah, Andrew Cal Come on, dude. Dude's the king of the world. I just found out it's about incredible. Him. Yeah, uh, incredible. I just, I just found out after everybody started commenting, they were like, "Oh, this is like Channel Five meets Jeff," and I was like, "Oh, cool." Yeah, he's the best. Yeah. He's great. 
yeah, the border crisis is insane. The way everybody is just being brought, like, it's so easy to get over. It's so, it was so easy to get those drugs across. Like, I was with you, and I stuffed drugs in your bag. Yes, there might up. be, like, a deleted scenes that comes out or something where we show that stuff. I was trying to show how to smuggle the drugs back, and it was getting a little off the topic and the message that I was trying uh -huh. to send. So there was a part where I go into Mike's room, and I try to put the drugs in his bag. I had a bottle of... It wasn't even anything bad. It was like antibiotics or something. But just because you could buy anything in these pharmacies, like you can't even get antibiotics without a doctor's prescription in America. Over there, they sell you a fucking gallon of them. Like and by the way, I knew what you were doing. I caught yeah. you three times. You caught me the first time. Now, when you packed your bags in the car, that was my that was last shot. And that's when I got it yeah. in there. We were in the car, that dialogue in the beginning where it's like, yo, we're like, what are you worried about? I was like, we're crossing the border. And you're like, no, you're crossing the border. And I knew in my head that the drugs were in your bag. But I just knew that it would just be such a bad look. Like, it's funny, but it's also we're making something real. Imagine I, I know actually did get taken by the authorities, <laughs> locked up in fucking Chihuahua or Monterey. <laughs> and you, bro, my mom, my mom would be so mad, bro. And, and just attack She would have went and fought my mom. 100%. Yeah. No Rolling Stones concert. No. Rolling Bones concert. They would have been throwing down. And I can confidently say that the next time that I pushed a fax request to the team, that Logan would deny you coming on the show. Why? Just because if you got me locked up in Mexico, oh, oh, you yeah, would yeah, never yeah, yeah, yeah. ever give word to the three or four people that yeah. are below him that have to answer, to have to tell me what he says. He would never allow that. But the reason we cut it was, it was multiple reasons. One, I didn't explain well enough that I took the drugs back from you last minute and I didn't let you actually cross. And they were just amoxicillin. It was like the lightest antibiotics you don't get arrested it's not narcotics right i have them upstairs they're bo fucking oh, bottles nice. of them i have two bottles one that i put drugs. in your bag and one one that i put in my own bag uh but yeah we're never getting sick again you know <laughs> <laughs> any <laughs> sniffles bro yeah yeah Just, i get a cold bro i feel a cold coming on to amoxicillin right away they're gonna useless got them so then days. when you actually have appendicitis you're fucked your appendix is gonna explode yep you'll die as a result yeah of your own doing whatever that's what i feel like we're up against with you jeff what? Death. If I sacrifice to actually leave behind a legacy and die a hero and saving lives, then I'd be happy with that. David, David, the videographer, he don't agree. He said we have to get nine to eight hours every night of sleep. I'm not talking about sleep. You can still sleep, but we just, we go out there and we actually mm, try. You ever it. tried sleeping in a Mexican prison? Not easy, dude. A lot of racket. When you got all those pills in your system, <laughs> you don't sleep. Bro, you ever slept through peso pluma? Playing at 3 a.m. over and over again, Lady Gaga. Bah, 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 bah. Over and over again, all fuck night. They play with people banging on your cell. Hola! Hola! Chica! Go, go. All right. I don't want to reveal any of my I don't next know any ideas. real Spanish. It's fine. Um, They're bringing I, drugs. <laughs> but, yo, like, Andrew's documentary that I watched, like, last night Tate. after all this stuff, he was focusing more on just people crossing the border. And it's crazy. People cross the border in Mexico uh, from into Texas, and Texas puts them all on a bus. They ship them all to New York City. Or no, anywhere they want. They, anywhere they want. They, they pick only Democrat cities, and yeah. then they just send them in. Yeah. It's pretty fucked up. And it's causing huge but problems. But also, the reason they do that is because they feel like, and potentially actually so, it is the case, is because some of the current you know, more liberal laws are the reason why they're able to do that. Now, why certain states have to be affected, It's a, these are federal laws that are causing problems at the border. I don't know what New York has to do with that. Yeah. Like, why would you send them to New York? It's a federal issue. Because I'll be honest, listen, I, I would prefer that we had new candidates. I don't really, like, want to vote for either of the people that we get to vote for this time, if it is Biden and Trump. But let's be honest, Trump, Trump was... <laughs> he said that? <laughs> was that AI or did he say that? No, uh, Shane Gillis. Uh, impression. He was, oh, oh that was so funny. He was stronger I, at he was stronger at the border. Like, let's be honest, bro. Yeah. He was he was stronger. He was stronger at the border. He was doing more, and and there was more national attention. Now it just seems like the situation at the border is just out of control. There's there's so many fucking people pouring through, pouring through, bro. Pouring I through, and and no one's even brought, no one's even doing anything. I could have brought crazy fucking guns, grenades, an entire fucking Guatemalan family. I could have brought anything I wanted. Nobody would have said shit. Kyle, you were with me. Like the second run, I told you I had nothing on me. I was just doing it for a little fun, and I, I like 
walking across back. I was like, let's just, you know. Oh yeah, it's time. very, very like they're not delicate with their searches. Nobody cares. And there's holes in the in the in the in the fence, the wall, whatever. People just walk across all over. It's wild. It's, you know, I I don't know. I don't want to get too deep into politics, but just seeing this shit is actually nuts. You know, We're, we have some real problems in this country, whether it's the border crisis or the result of which is the fentanyl pouring into the cities. We have a lot of problems in this country. And everybody, once again, going into another political season, everybody wants to discuss individual candidates. What is this candidate going to do? What is this candidate going to do? The number one question you should be asking of the people that you're going to vote for in this coming election is how does this candidate plan to unite the aisles? Right now, we're a mess. We, we, The Democrats will not pass a bill that the Republicans propose. The P- Republicans will not pass a bill that the Democrats p- propose. It's a fucking mess. I liken it, as I've said before, to a basketball game where neither team is trying to score. They're both j- just trying to uh, block each other's shots. That's all they w- Block yeah. the shot, block the shot, block the bill, block the bill. We need a uniter, someone that's going to come in and unite the people and unite the aisles, unite the left and right, and pass real fucking laws that, that help this country. All this shit is so childish. All this shit is so is such a disrespect to the great country that we have and all the people that died for us to have the freedoms that we have. For us to just point fingers and say, you're stupid. The left is, is out of control, woke. The right is this. Bro, wake up. Stop being fucking idiots, bro. Morons. And learn how to fucking work together. Mm-hmm. That's what that's what it takes. Division is what's going to kill Teamwork. us, bro. Teamwork. You hear that, guys? That's why I always focus on that. When we, Whenever we get in arguments, I say we're a team. Remember that. We're a family. It, it's just crazy, bro. Like, we're spo- these are supposed to be professionals. People that our taxes pay their fucking salaries and they can't work together. That's how, that's how businesses die. That's how countries fall apart, bro. Because we can't learn to work together. It's not one yeah. side or the other. Figure it out. As you say, figure, figure it, it out. out. Figure it out. They need to get El Chapo out of prison. They need they need to release him because back in those days, everything was all good. You know, it's Bro. crazy that Sean Penn is like the one that went and interviewed him. <laughs> Sean him. Penn got to interview El Chapo. Yeah, that's how they that's, that's how they caught him. Really? Yeah, like uh, he was doing what you were doing. Damn, that's gangster of Sean Penn because he's like. Fucking one of the goats. loaded, loaded. And you know? one of the and, goats, bro. And he's already got a legacy, you know, to leave behind. I'm on the right track over here. I feel like you want to get in on this action, though. He's, are you familiar with El Chapo? Uh, yeah. Do you know how many times he broke out of prison? Yep. How many? Many. Twice. Twice. Two times. Not that many. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He saw that guy in real time. That was yeah. crazy. That bullshit. But the way <laughs> he like had him. Mexican prisons are still a prison. You know, it's bro. It, it's not, not when like, they not when they go to him. No, bro, bro they it's fucking, not like the fences are made out of fucking bamboo. Homie, bars do you know where Pablo like Escobar used to stay in jail? His jail would be houses different that country, he does. Completely different. Different. He made his oh, own yeah, prisons. Whatever. Yeah. But you no, know what I'm saying? In it's Mexico, a, it's a complete, they had him at the max right. prison that you could be at, and he somehow like got out because they probably were moving them they They probably were moving them no didn't you see the movie sicario he hid in the shower there was a there was a one blind spot in the shower he had somebody help him out they wheeled him out in like a bucket of laundry they brought him out and then they found him hiding in a hole in that iraq maybe we could fact check that but then they locked him up again they got him out again and then they extradited him and then that's when shit got real because like american prison there ain't no escaping that no more you know well, they they sent them to like the supermax, the supermax, yeah. Yeah, and they brought and they found when they found them the next time they came in with those um with the Blackhawk uh, stealth choppers and they landed on the roof and they sent the SEAL Team Six in and they shot one time to- shot him in the head, right? Who El Chapo? He's alive. El He's Chapo alive. was found in 2014 in a resort hotel He's in, in prison. Sinaloa. And and yo, imagine imagine getting this as your thumbnail. That's so, <laughs> yeah, that would be so sick. Me just me in the middle with them, Sean Penn and El Chapo. My next investigative journalism documentary me and sean team up today's episode is sponsored by hymns that's right they're sponsoring us over here now we taught you how to regrow your hair using finasteride and minoxidil now we're going to talk to you guys about erectile dysfunction real talk 52 percent of men over 40 experience some form of ed between the ages of 40 and 70 but it's always been a taboo topic 
Thankfully, Hims is changing that by providing affordable access to ED treatment all online. You're confident in the office, at the dinner table, and even on the dance floor, but can you keep it going when you're back in the bedroom? With Hims, you can get access to medications to ensure your erectile dysfunction gets treated, so you can keep the confidence going all day and all night. Hims is changing men's healthcare by providing access to affordable and discreet sexual health treatments, all from the comfort of your couch. Hims provides access to clinically proven generic alternative to Viagra and Cialis up to 95% cheaper with options as low as $2 per dose. The process is simple and 100% online. No uncomfortable doctor visits. Just answer a series of questions on their site and a medical provider will determine the right treatment option. If prescribed, your medication ships directly to you for free and in discreet packages. No insurance is needed. Pay one low price for your treatments, online visits, ongoing shipments, and provider messaging. Hims has hundreds of thousands of trusted customers, so if ED is getting you down, it's time to change that. Start your free online visit today at hims.com slash jefffm. That's H-I-M-S dot com slash jefffm for your personalized ED treatment options. Restrictions apply. See website details and important safety information. Subscription required. Prices vary based on product and subscription plan. Thank you, Hims, for sponsoring the show. Now let's get back on with it. Have you seen the video of like uh, El Chapo's son when they went to his house? Uh, no. You think El Chapo, if he watches my documentary, he'd be pissed, he'd be pissed off at me? I don't think he would really care too much. What are, what, are, what is this now? What is this podcast? Is this just a drug? Is this Crimecast? Crimecast? It's Have, Crimecast. Did you sneak me into an episode of Crimecast? I mean, what else is going on? That's I mean, important. there's so much shit going on. You want to just talk about fucking narcotics and raids all day? Bro, I'm, I'm, this is the lane I'm going down now. Is what, this a what, coca what, plant? What what is it? It looks like it. Are we even still here? Are we in Guatemala right now? <laughs> Did you somehow transport you hear the, the shots what are in the watching? background? What is this? Is this an episode of Donut Operator? <laughs> just, what is this, bro? <laughs> you got a sixty-two percent female audience. Let's talk about Barbie. What are we doing? Oh no! Tranquilo, tranquilo. Damn! I wish I was Mexican. Dude, but the the first time that they caught him, like uh, all the cartel just fucking went and started like shooting up like the yeah, whole massive. fucking. They had fifty cows. They were, can you turn the fucking video off, Oscar? How much of this fucking source There's a son, the new kingpin. Watch. There he is. Damn. See, why the fuck couldn't our dad set us up with a, with a global cartel to run? My dad was a global marketing manager for a precision measurement firm. He didn't do any of this type of stuff. He used lasers to figure out down to the micrometer the size of a cell needed at a nuclear facility at Los Alamos. He's not going to give me any cocaine. He's not going to give. He gave me genetics to be a cokehead is what he gave me. But he's not going to give me a, a global a global organization that moves narcotics. Maybe your dad did. Maybe your dad would do that. My, my dad, dad didn't do you know that. my dad he what? drove New York City buses. You know what my <laughs> uncle did drove New York City buses. You know what my cousin did drove New York City buses. Yeah. So I come from Wait, a family, come from a family of, of fucking bus drivers. Bus drivers. That's yeah. sick. Yeah. That's so sick. You could you probably have a genetic disposition to move large groups of people. Like, have you ever tried doing that? Have you ever just tried going out and saying like to a group of people, like, let's go? No, this I way. ran away from it. I said this ain't for me. This life ain't for me, Dad. Sorry. It's either get rich or die trying. Fifty Cent album came out when I was like thirteen. That shit fucking corrupted Bro, my whole we life. Gotta it do changed one, the course of my entire life. We gotta life. do one video of man, you man. as a bus driver. Just yeah. one, dude. We gotta get you in the outfit, the MTA outfit. We gotta get, we gotta do it, bro. And just have My dad you, hated it. He hated everything about it. Get off of me, bro. That's It's, it's stuck in my fucking head, bro. Just move it up. You rip that leaf off. No, I don't want to hurt the plant. It's fine. It's not a real plant. Oh, it's not? No. Remember Steven used to beat up plants? Yeah. I miss yeah, that shadow box. Where is he? He's not fat anymore. He's skinny. Oh, he lost all the weight? No, he's just been working out. He goes to Bradley Morton's gym because he gave him a free membership to influencers. Speaking of that, I guess we could talk about that stupid shit because they had like a fight there. Somebody tackled Bradley that was like half his size. I saw Vitali that. doing all this crap. The now. comeback of Vitali. Vita Ladies and gentlemen, notorious prankster Vitali is back. He has taken over the radio waves. And everybody is watching them. They are talking about him. They are intrigued from what he has to say. And they have forgotten about the time. He, he asked to come on the pod. Jumped out of the bush. But, on uh, mushrooms. But I didn't know how I felt about it. Um, just because I looked up the first thing on Google was like he beat up a woman. 
and obviously, you know, I got to be a little. Dude, tell me the truth. Look at it. He's know. on mushrooms. It's not. It doesn't excuse it. It doesn't matter what drug you're on. But I'm just saying, like, man, talk about. But a, I mean, we could have anybody on the show here. <laughs> you know, like what? Talk what? about a weird drug to beat up someone on. It doesn't make you want to beat up anyone. No. No, I thought he was on bat salts. No, that can was we get mushrooms. some info? on it because there was a video of him getting arrested and it's like insane i watched it and i was like holy shit i never want to be around this you know guy. on the el chapo thing where i said he was found in iraq in a hole i i i literally met, detailed two exact captures of uh of hussein saddam hussein and of osama bin laden i just said the whole storyline and you guys were like i don't think that's what happened no i watched I said the exact documentary, story but, line. but i was falling asleep to them i fall asleep to those documentaries and I fall asleep to space documentaries. That James Webb uh, telescope oh, they got so out powerful. there. It's just capturing it's all these things from different yeah. galaxies, different planets. Maybe they find another Earth out there. There's like, like or like a planet that's similar to Earth that is habitable for humans. Mirth. Mirth. <laughs> yeah. Why would you say Mirth? <laughs> you really like though. <laughs> Why would you say that? I don't know. What, what would you call it? Nerth. New Earth? Why would you go Mert? And that's close to Nerf, right? Is that what you're thinking? I would name it after Nerf. I would just name it Nerf. <laughs> Imagine Nerf had his own planet. That would be a good way to remember him. You had him fucking fossilized, or what's it called? Like, taxidermied? Yeah, like, you know when you see look the moon... Look like this, like this. Like, if you... Was if, just sitting out there on if, the you, if you're on a Murph. bunch of mushrooms and you look up at the moon, it kind of looks like a face. Yeah. Like, we just have Murf, or Nerf. Planet <laughs> Nerf just looks like... Looks like Nerf. Yeah, I don't know. I think we can find better guests, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Anyone in a live stream the pod, I'm like, yo, you know I have a production here that has like multiple employees and there's a lot of things that run here. We have sponsorships, agencies that we have to deal with. Yeah. You just want to live stream it on Kick, who's, some who's, platform who's, that with bots? Who's going to sponsor that episode, bro? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it uh, seems like he's better off using a... Using a platform like Kick, yeah, just because it defines one of the ways you assault someone. Listen, don't get me wrong. I'm, um, check Tordy. I'm all for that, uh, like live streaming chaos that people do. You know, it's whatever. It's fine with me. It's not the type of content I want to make. Well, we I know just, what type of content you want to make now: impactful documentaries, but also silly, funny stuff. Like I want to find a way to, to merge the two. Like, can you mix humor in such sensitive, sensitive topics? How do we deal with topics like death? That's a tough one to joke around about, but How to be do honest, do, do I joke around at, at funerals? Since the beginning of time, people have used humor to deal with yeah. the fact that mortality is a real thing. People's brains don't know how to compute this. One day, I'm no longer going to be here. My family's no longer going to be here. Mm -hmm. Should I cry about it? No, I'm going to make a joke about that because humor lightens the mood. It yeah. lightens everything. A good friend of mine once made a joke. Me? Oh, Logan? Japan? No, I was talking about somebody from my hometown, Andrew Flanagan. Actually, Flanagan again? All I'm getting at is this. It's a it's a way to deal with the weight that is Yeah, mortality. absolutely. I, I always try to joke in those situations. You know who's a real sick fuck? Um, but also hilarious and very talented? El Chapo. No, yeah, he is. <laughs> but our weatherman, Ryan. Oh, he's great. Um, yeah. His father was a legend. He was in his 70s, right? Kyle? Uh, that I don't know. His dad passed away this past week. <laughs> his dad oh, was an Oscar. Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, it's fine. You didn't know. It's it's. He didn't tell anybody. Actually, he posted on Instagram about it today. <laughs> Unreal. But, dude. Don't but go on Instagram. this kid is so insane. I send him a message. Like, he's very emotional in messages. Like, he'll send me, like, hey, bro, like, happy Thanksgiving. I'm grateful for you and everything. Like, it's like a he's long a thing. Kid. I don't even respond to it, whatever. So this time, I find out from Kyle uh because they were together i send him like a nice text and i'm just like we're all here for you whatever but like the usual thing he said a joke back i don't kyle do you want to say it or should we have him say because he is a master at using humor to get he's turning his um you know griefing into humor in the most like random ways and it's pretty funny and uncomfortable but only he can make that joke yeah <laughs> but can you repeat his joke to forget it <laughs> Three pussies, dude. Which no, one? I actually, I actually, forget. Forget. actually I'll leave Oscar. No, he's going around 
to take Don't pictures. Don't fucking say. Oh, okay. He's going around like this. He's like, he's like, hey, can you take a picture of us? My dad just died. He's like, it's just. <laughs> and like, then he I goes, know it. it's an escape mechanism. It's, but it's the, an he escape mechanism. He also tells mechanism. the guy that we pulled from mid conversation. He's like, oh, also on the count of three, can you say Ryan's dad's dead? Well, we're all taking a group that's photo. That's even more than an escape mechanism. That's he's, like sadomasochistic. Maybe he's, maybe he's got a couple screws loose, like the Air Max uh, oh, flight. Oh, for sure. He has screws loose. Speaking hey, of screws loose. Hey, what hey, yeah, good timing. There you go. Great you, timing. Do you just pop him next to, to Mike? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just sit right next to Mike. We got to get you on that microphone. I can't even hear you. All right, guys. Today's episode is sponsored by Manscaped. Roses are red, violets are blue. Trim your balls and your date will thank us too. What's up, fellas? Valentine's Day is knocking and Manscaped is the remedy for what the love doctor ordered. His prescription, the all-new Performance Package 5.0 Ultra, designed to elevate your grooming game and shine like the heartthrob that you are. Join the 10 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with our exclusive offer. Go to manscaped.com to snag 20% off plus free shipping with code Jeff's Barbershop. This electric trimmer features skin safe technology guarding your V-Day treasure against any grooming mishaps. Basically, it's a trimmer that's skin safe that when you're manscaping downstairs, you don't snip your nuts and have blood all over the bathroom floor, wherever you shave your nuts at. But hey, that's not everything the Love Doctor ordered. This package also features the Weed Whacker 2.0 nose hair trimmer, Manscaped's liquid formulations, and two free goodies, the Shed Travel Bag and Boxers 2.0, because comfort is king for all my dogs. And for a happy ending, there's the Manscaped Refined Cologne. It's the Valentine's Day touch to your grooming routine. Elevate your grooming routine and set the stage for a romantically smooth celebration. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code Jeff's Barbershop at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com when you use the code Jeff's Barbershop because your grooming upgrade awaits, ready to charm your Valentine's dates. Thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring the show. Now let's get back on with it. Give them some space. You guys are both well, six because five. can I give you the real reason? I think the 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 position of the couch changed a little bit because it's it's really facing like that way. Yeah. I think there was a, mo a ch do you see here what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And the plant, it's like, you know, when you go to a business and they don't properly take care of their facility, like that's where I feel like I am right now. Listen, people got a lot of complaints about the setup. We're working on it. I, people say I have this chair that I, I put up high. So I have like this hierarchy over the guest. <laughs> I, that's what I think. Power dynamic. I think that is what the chair is. just doesn't fucking go any lower. And this <laughs> desk has been built. It, it's a custom made desk. It's built around your body. It's built for my body. It's I, like have, a casket. I have casket. I have foothold. I have toe holders in it. Like I have my feet positioned into. I don't know. What I'm talking about. Uh, look, <laughs> your desk, hair. Your hair looks really nice. Wait, so thank you. It's what Amar, I do for a Amara living. needs to like draw like a X-ray of the desk on the side. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta see. I'm just putting a Rubik's cube together down here. <laughs> Dude, just, there's like, so solve, many things solve, you could be doing solve. under that desk right yeah, now. <laughs> I love it. I love. And when I go on impulsive, I don't know what to do with my hands and feet. I'm like, it's pick, so I pick weird. at my shoes. I, I tie. I retie my shoelaces. Do you know how many weird moments there have been on this sh on that show where I'm thinking about exactly what you're talking about? Right now? I'm like, dude, the position of my feet right now. Yeah, but bro, I've it's done. Like Jake and Logan are arguing about their childhood and trauma. I'm like, dude, and I'm look like, at my feet, bro. I've done that show with. Like, I sitting gay right now. Yeah. That's what I think about that too. <laughs> and it just runs off. Like yeah. I'll be like, am I gay? Like because of how I'm yeah. like, then I'll go down that route. You guys are sitting kind of gay right now. I mean, That's it's 2024, dude. Yeah. yeah, I like Cody, dude. Yeah. 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 You yeah. ever see that movie, Good Time? Oh, the best movie ever. Yeah. Best movie in the past 10 years, I'd say. Cody, have you ever seen Good Time by the Safdie brothers? Nope, but I just want to go to Burning Man this year and suck my own dick. Okay, he just realized the outro song because he just watched our first. Finally, he watched a full duration of our YouTube <laughs> that video the that, first he, that time. he got. Yeah, yeah. Well, he was in prison for half of my YouTube career. Well, the thing is, why I already I know what the content is because I'm the one that's in it. Yeah, but you don't know how it turns out the final product. It's changed a lot. <laughs> yeah, he was just sitting yeah. on the couch. He's like, "Yo, what's this song?" Our outro song, and it's like a it's a little immature for the for the documentary that we made. Yeah, but why? Look, we got to stay on brand. We got to stay true to ourselves. Yeah. We are silly fucks, but we are trying to make a difference in the world, a positive one, a positive impact. And we would like to save lives. Fucking, you got a problem with that? Fucking shoot me dead. I'm trying to save lives. What if somebody just walked in and just did it? That's yeah. my faith. Like the Joe in the Joker. That's, that's look, Murray Franklin show. Oh, he's right there. That's why the set, that's how the set is designed. Yeah, yeah. For that. Yeah. For one day for that I to happen. I think Joker 2 comes out this year. Maybe Steven will be the guy. When he, when he came back in here that time, did you see the clip of Steven when he popped back in? He was like, he left first, stormed off, and then he came back in, and he was his eyes were black, 
And that's when I got up. I was black? like, just around his eyes. He was like, and you He's know a what? Raccoon? And you know what? All this shit's fake. All this fucking shit's fake. And he came in here fuming like he wanted to fucking fight me. That's going to be Steven coming in here, popping me. But no, nah, we're good now. Look, <laughs> You know, Steven told us that his dad took his guns away when he was like in school. Cause... Wait, his, Steven's dad? Steven's dad. <laughs> like when he was in school. <laughs> Do, uh, how would you feel if, you're, if your claim to fame was always pissing in your own mouth? I'll just never get. I don't care. I will never get over it. I think that's partially why he wants to not do certain shows anymore because he wants to just not piss in his mouth <laughs> and and look what does he want to do be a nobody fucking told what does he want to do be a senator what is steven what the fuck is steven i told you going to do he in should, the real world besides this type of shit fucking be what what is he gonna do he should have been on survivor pissing in his mouth that's a good that's one. a good show no, for what him. Option? <laughs> give me a give Listen, me a give nobody me a job told him to piss in his mouth he chose to do that that was hilarious when he did it and when his dad called in and did it Fucking funniest bit in Jeff FM history. Give me a job that he, that Steven would do outside of Jeff FM. Um, just he's just a naturally funny guy. So give know? me, so give me an, give me a fucking an output for like that. you and I gotta try. We gotta like use our. Fuck, our education. I'm not gonna ask you again, bro. Give you what is a fucking potential job that would suit Steven? Show my dick. Yeah, no, no, because it wouldn't be star? funny. It wouldn't be funny. <laughs> don't show your dick. I don't, I don't want to see it, and that nobody would want to see it in this room. But Steven, when he does it, it's just like. He's just like a little puppy, you know? Speaking of the movie Good Time, one of my favorite movies in the past 10 years, and it reminds me a lot of my own life, Cody and I's relationship, you know? He would, it was one slick, skinny, fucking, uh, like, younger brother, and he was like the criminal mastermind. Mm, and I wouldn't call him a mastermind. Just he's, psycho, nut, nut job. No, he's just not all, he's not all there either. Not as not all there as... As his brother. They're both not all there, yeah. Yeah. But one of them is slightly slicker and does the planning of the fucking operations. You know, like we're gonna go in this bank, we're gonna rob it. Look, that's them. That's me and you, Cody. Oh, hey. Safety brothers broke up too. What does that mean? No. The brothers. Yeah. They split up? Yeah. It takes place in where we're from. 100%. And they all act they just match that Staten Island scumbag, East Coast scumbag energy perfect. They hired all non actors for it. Like the guy that was the one that they the brother that they stole that was not the right brother the wrong yeah. guy he was that was his first movie ever and like uncut gems they used a bunch of jewelers and no shit. it's an like, incredible fucking i movie. like that they do that they have people that are not actors and they play a role similar to themselves they get them some acting classes and it just it's so authentic it was just this was also the role they got him out of like twilight robert pattison yeah, yeah 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 he got a new york accent played a real new york scumbag for it and that's what i that's what i relate to didn't I he hook see, up with like a young ass chick in that, in that movie i was just thinking through he like, did do that but i'm not scenes? saying that that's what i want to go do but well, i don't just, fucking know. listen he did what he had to do to stay out of trouble he would do anything just to get his brother out of jail he got his brother arrested his brother was in jail getting in fights he knew all this shit was happening so he was going to break his brother out of jail he tried to bail him out with the money he robbed i don't want to give the whole movie away but it just it's really similar to our dynamic cody and i back in the day not now but like back in the day when we were doing wild shit together. And if you like Uncut Gems, you'll like this one. Cause it's got basically the same look and feel to it. A lot of the same, like that eighties, like synth music yeah. to it. I love the scoring. I tell the guys, we scored the documentary, uh, the Crane documentary, the Don't Try This At Home, and this one recently. Cause I want to give that feeling of anxiety when you watch our stuff. It was like comedic relief, but like you're watching and you're like, holy shit. Like, my fucking hands are sweating. What's going to happen next? Like to give people that feel from a YouTube video is it's tough. But do you think that's how people feel watching Jeff FM? No, this is a different, completely different style show. You don't think that people are like, what's going to happen next? Like anything could happen. Steven comes in and pops me in the head with a fucking revolver. Just <laughs> bow, got you, motherfucker. Shotgun. Then that'd be <laughs> it's just yo. You know what's weird? You probably have dealt with this before, but like when you go to see your doctor. They like, like I got a call last night because I went and got a, a cardio exam on my heart. Mm -hmm. Like it's called a calcium test where they see if there's any like calcium in your heart to see if you're gonna have a heart attack. It's a pretty serious test, right? As you get older. This is like two weeks ago that I got it done. And they called last night and they were like, oh, hi, is this Mike Mayock? Yeah, it's me. Oh, we got the results back on your calcium score from last week and 
the doctor's just requesting to set up a time to speak with you to go over the results. And I'm like, is that like, are we go? Is everything okay? Like that doesn't, yeah. Like, um, yeah, well, I, I don't, since I'm just a tech here, I don't want to, you know, read the results. So I'm just going to have the doctor do it, you know? Yeah. Get on the phone today with the doctor. Hi. Yes. Is this, is this Mike, Mike Malak? Yes, it is. Uh, hi. Yeah. So I'm looking at the, the you results from your cardio test. Like, bro, talk about anxiety inducing, like the safety setting up a track. Yeah. Your score came back as zero. You're perfect. Like, why couldn't you just send that to me in a fucking email? You didn't yeah. have to put me through fucking hell on earth. Why do they do that? They scared to like go to a haunted house. No, I know. I did that with uh, that happened to me once with the STD test because I was getting into a relationship and I wanted to make sure I was clean. So you it was work. a Wednesday and I went and got tested and I was like, just doing this just out of respect, you know? They were like, we'll give you the results on Friday. Friday comes, results still aren't in. And I had dates over the weekend. We were going away. And now I'm like, I can't, I can't even have sex. Can't fornicate. You know? So it's like, what? She's like, what are you, like religious or something? You know? <laughs> And then I'm all stressed out about it. And then finally I get the call on fucking Monday and they're like, you were good. And I was like, I could have been going nuts the whole weekend. Would you? What if you just work on them? It's because it's like, you know, your we girlfriend. Went, we went to Hong Kong. No what fucking that way. That do <laughs> no way. Did you actually? Did you actually go to Hong yeah, Kong? Yeah, we went to Hong Kong. I had to meet people and make connects and, and no, organically. Is that in the video campy? Bro, you didn't watch a documentary. I scanned through it. I was clean. I had a cleaning day today with Alex, my assistant. Yeah, I told the, you that. But the Hong, the Hong Kong wasn't in the video. You went to fucking Hong Kong without me. Was there a woman? Was there a donkey show? I didn't see any and donkey I show. No. Nah, I. Uh, what I, did you get? Did you guys? Did you guys fucking? He did. Yo, my fans have the right to know. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good sound. That was good, Kyle. <laughs> Yeah, um, that was a good one. Damn, bro. <laughs> like honestly, that. honestly, Damn, I only right. did because no. this girl looked me in my eyes and <laughs> she, she was super hot. And I think I did it because she told me she was from Sin Sinaloa. We just talked about that. Yeah. And I was like, fuck, she's from a drug state. I got to yeah. sleep with yeah. her. What, yeah. was the, <laughs> what was the rate? How much? It was like uh, 150 for everything. Pesos or dollars? dollars? Dollars. And then 40 for the room. And then 10 for, uh, for like the condoms and the cleaning service. Life is cheap there. My friend, she was beautiful too. She there's a hot. lot of real hot she was girls hot. in there. She had like bro. A, there's no difference that. between her and girls in America now. Girls in America, the the time that we're living in right now, you're not cool if you don't sell it. <laughs> what? <laughs> another soundbite. Another soundbite. No, I'm serious. <laughs> girls on Instagram applaud each other and are like, they look up to each other. They, <laughs> Why is this pulled up right they, now? They they they. Is that they, Jenna Marbles? Bro, look, it's if you uh, it's if you got good eyes, you could see anybody on Instagram. This is the queen right there. <laughs> but she doesn't sell, she doesn't fuck for money. She no, just but sells, she's like, fucking maybe like you She could doesn't see need money, but there's girls in her position that do. Yeah. She's she's killing it from her personality. Yeah, as well, from her personality. Uh, her business. But well, well, she's got OF. You mean oh, you mean like really sell like look, it's just like Instagram. Well, what are you talking about? You talking about oh, you talking about girls that that sell pictures? You talking about girls no, that really sell, sell pussy? The pussy. She don't Tana don't even show vagina. All right, so look, there. there's girls that think, exist right? in the I world. I, mean, I, I don't know. I don't that know. will All right, let's say they'll be like, "All right, take me shopping." And then they'll give it up to you. Yeah, of course. You. So no, that's whole, selling it. No, yeah, of course. There's a whole uh, yeah, I know. But yeah. there, there, there's just an even exchange. I don't love you. You don't love me. I want instant gratification. Okay, I'll buy you a bag. You give me the sex, and that's it. No dinners, nothing. Just jerk off. Just fucking become an, a, a who jerk do you off, think, jerking off Who do you addict. think that's... It happens in major Doesn't cities. That, New York, LA, Miami. No, but don't you don't you look at both people on on like both sides of that transaction as like fucking weird? Uh, yes, they're definitely you know fucking what I'm weird like, like, and like, losers and desperate. But the thing is, they I see, they do it like this because girls have hitting motives. They don't care. They just want beneficial things. And a lot of people are consumed by materialistic things in the world, so they're willing to put their morals because they want that fast materialistic thing they don't want to work for it all right so i don't want to can i use this word uh vagina <laughs> <laughs> out of the things you say that's what you think you have to okay, right, pussy <laughs> is reusable yeah you don't you could just keep selling it and profit it 
Yeah, it's other than that, buying drugs, resource. you have a percentage market where you sell drugs. You, you have to get back to re up. Yeah, pussy, you don't need to re up. You just gotta wash it off in the sink or something, <laughs> and then go hit the next victim. <laughs> he's not right. He's not wrong. The way he says bro, it. I'm <laughs> telling you, there's Let girls out there. There's ask- girls out there that have friends that have their friends help them with OnlyFans and. Indirect messages, yeah. and you think that you're talking to the girl that you're talking to, and you're really not. No, that's ninety percent of the girls on OF. They have men running their accounts. It's yes, not friends. Yes. It's the agency. So that what they I'm work speaking for. about is true. But also, I but agree. also, like, now, let none me ask this... you one question here. It's just uh, all I want to know. I'd rather girl, pay one fifty than pay nine thousand dollars for a bag. I'm sorry. I agree. I agree, I agree. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Listen. <laughs> the sin. Me on Reddit. Sin- Sinaloa girl. She was hot. You know she, she was, was hot. hot. She was hot. Did you guys kiss? Fuck no. No? You didn't kiss her? You're, that's like kind of rule number one, bro. I just, not, I just, I just, I don't, I mean, I, I never kiss because it's just, she belongs to the game. Yeah. She belongs to the shit for the streets. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I don't want to, like, I don't know. I just, no, did I you just ever think about, tr- did you ever think about trying to pry her out and just give her a, a happy home? Nah, I'm not in the position to give anybody. She's making home. so much money over yeah. there, probably. Even those like patients. She would tell shit. him no. Yeah, she would say no. Do you like make Honestly, love to I, her? Did you make love to her, or did you just? I made love to her. I made love to, to Lana Del Rey. Oh uh, well, wow. yeah, is that what you listened to? You got to choose your soundtrack. That's what you chose. That was her favorite soundtrack, so I wanted to make her happy. That's a, it's oh, about that's woman. nice. <laughs> yeah, you probably you probably need a little therapy. No, that's a, that's a, that's a good. That's a Mike. Good. You say I need therapy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, I was just looking for some fun, instant gratification. I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm skipping kidding. all the dates. Uh, he did it sober, he wasn't on drugs. I'm sober. Uh, listen. We were buying dr- listen, we had drugs. Listen, prosti- prostitution is the oldest industry in the world. But prostitution is legal now. It's one of, it is one of, if not the oldest industry in, in the ve- world. In Vegas, completely legal. Uh, Decriminalized in New York City. Decriminalized in New York City. Yeah. Hey, look. Well, look, I look at it like this. Why should I go on three dinner dates? Let's do the math. It's gonna cost me three, four hundred bucks times three dates, and I'm gonna have to buy him a gift, you know, or something. A gift? Hell fucking no. When do you guys start buying? Bro, I don't start buying gifts until <laughs> you don't. You're, no, you're, I you're did. a rare I, case, I, bro. I, you I am a rare case. Yeah, there's yeah. really nobody like me. I don't me. get how you do the things you do when you just keep my. I, I posted. Mike, uh, didn't I, you just call me up for a Van Cleef necklace or yeah, something? Yeah. Yeah. For oh, how much was that no, Van Cleef necklace? No, because I that's how much. How much it was like four forty five hundred? All right. So how many times is one fifty going to forty five hundred? No, because I've been with her. Because I've been with her. For <laughs> Do the math. How many times he had sex with his girlfriend? <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> likes her for her. Like, no, but I, I'm doing my math. Okay, he spends forty five hundred. So do the math. How many no, times the breakdown. No, hold on. If you want to do that math, I've seen her. I've seen her every. I can get, I've seen her every weekend. I've seen her every weekend for six months at at least per weekend ten. Ten times per weekend two, times four, six months. Six. So what's that? Are you getting a good deal or That's not? That's two hundred and forty. Right. That's two hundred and forty. So do the math. Forty five hundred divided by two forty. I can get about We're being so disrespectful of women right now. No, what are you talking is, about? This has become a red no, pill podcast. No, it hasn't. I'll give you the math right now. Forty five hundred. She's gonna watch this. divided by two forty. Eighteen dollars and seventy five cents per. So I could get no. eighteen girls. Wait, so every time how does that make sense? One fifty every girl. Wait, so you just did the math, and every time you have intercourse with your girlfriend, it's eighteen dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, actually, no, no. We need to remap this. Yeah, we need that's to not including this. the flights to, that he's paying yeah, for. Yeah, bring her around. Correct. But those there's a lot more no, math no, no, going no, no. into this. Right. Those are spirit and what, economy and what Mike eats, guess what? His girl has to eat with him. Yeah, but he's buying. Yeah, that's he, true. There is. It, and it might be getting closer to that one fifty mark. It might be one fifty dollars and twenty six cents. Yeah. 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 And then if she brings her friend, guess what? He's paying for it too. Yeah. Unless Jeff's there, and then yeah. he has to pay. Yeah. <laughs> he has to throw in. I chip in on the dinner, but I don't get no action out of it. God, yeah, it's Ryan. It's oh, Ryan. No, look sh- who it is. What, what's going on? Yo! Hey, you look a little... Yo! Uh, is that white stuff? Can you stuff? guys hear me? Is that, yeah, was that white stuff on your no, nose? No, I just watched the video, bro. I felt so fucking inspired, dude. Uh, this is not the route I wanted it. Yeah, <laughs> this is not- like, yeah, look. Look, I got all my shit right there. Whoa. This is not the impression I wanted the video to have on people, and you're mocking it, and it's a serious topic. It's a serious topic. Listen, I told you that. Oh. Hey, you're so fucked up that you didn't even remember that last week I promoted you to in studio co host, and you're back on the weather segment. But <laughs> um, look, I know you've been. <laughs> oh, was that today? <laughs> 
Look at oh those, my God, look my at, look at those muscles. Are you raging on coke my right bad. now, or have you been working out? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Heard there was a chance of snow this weekend. Cody, you did so good in the video, man. Thanks, Ryan. Be good if you came around. We don't see you no more. Yeah. 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 We we had that writing session last Monday. We said we're going to do it every Monday, or, you know, we, don't, we haven't done it since. And that's our tour that we're supposed to be doing. I'm counting on you here, and you're over there sniffing coke in your room with your shirt off. I need you here. In the I'm studio, going. I need you here writing stuff. We're uh, we're leveling up. Things changed around here. Cody walked in I the house when he came back from China. He went to the Wall of China for whatever I'm reason. I'm doing the same shit you guys are doing. What? A podcast? Like drugs and shit. No, uh, no, we didn't no, do we didn't no. do the drugs. No, did you watch the whole video? The were you doing is- drugs when you were 24? Yep. Yeah. So maybe you can't get so mad at people like me and Wait, Steven. Ryan, you no one's it? mad. Is this a dude. bit, or are you actually doing drugs? Ryan, we, you're supposed to test it. The point of the video is to show people how easy it is to access the testing strips to safely do drugs. That was the entire goal of the video. Maybe I needed to add some shock. Well, maybe value I. To well, it. maybe I missed that. Did you miss it, or did you select not to listen to it? This kid's that one. <laughs> This kid needs to fucking. Mike is smart. Go to rehab. He needs Jesus. Yeah. Hey, hey. look at what I'm doing it on. (laughs) I thought it was gonna be the fifth (laughs) vital of the Christ. I have Christ. You're going to hell, cracker. Yeah, you're gonna burn in hell for that. You have burn in hell, you cracker. Oh yeah. yeah. (laughs) What religion are you, Ryan? Zero. None. (laughs) Oh no, no, no. What is this? Impulsive. Bro, <laughs> don't say that stuff over here. It's gonna be bad. You're gonna get me. I, the, I love gonna get, Logan Paul. You're gonna I get me the backlash. <laughs> what? Wait, what? You say I is, love Logan Paul. He is my god. I hate the real god. <laughs> Dude, no, this is Hit that subscribe button. <laughs> subscribe if you're not. Just give me tons more of this stuff. Are those lights? F- you guys are not subscribed. It's I got, co- I got coke oh, that's all God. over my laptop. God, God is listening in right now, and he's coming for you. God, please repent us for all of Ryan's sins. We don't, we're not really that close of friends. And we don't support what he said. And we believe in you, we have faith. You were with me when I was crossing the border with all those drugs. And I can't thank you enough for Do you guys want to see my favorite movie? Oh no, we don't. That movie sucks. <laughs> Good movie. That movie inspired a lot of movies. You fucking asshole. Man, no. you gotta get off the drugs, bro. Yeah, you know what? Fuck this weather segment. <laughs> Why? Just because you're doing drugs. You're not even saying anything about the weather. You're just sniffing coke off of the Passion of the Christ book. How do you even have that book? It's been raining. It's not a book. It's a movie. It's a movie by <laughs> Mel Gibbs. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was a book version of it. I was like, why? why would <laughs> you you read it? That's version? the Bible. That's just called the Bible. <laughs> uh, Ryan, what's been going on in your life? Bad. 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 I actually, actually, yeah. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. And we, all, we all support you. We all love you. And we're all here for you. You know? Yeah, drop it. Yeah. I'm not doing drugs. Just so everyone knows. My, I'm, my dad died. So I'm trying to actually... Stay away from everything. The man was a legend. I see a lot of you in him. I'm happy you got to know him throughout your life. And I, I mean, I don't know if I'm supposed to say it, but I know you made a, a, there's an interview where you guys sat down together, right? Yeah, but I haven't been able to find the footage, which sucks. No way. Yeah, I don't know where it is. I'm hoping it's in Utah somewhere, but yeah, I don't have. I'm hoping right that's, now, not a, that's not a Bruce Buff situation, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. Well, the man was a legend, Ryan. Thanks. You should be proud of the life that he lived, and now you have to live for his legacy Two as well. Lives. This is really strange to go from pretending to be a drug addict to this right now. That's the show. Welcome to Jeff <laughs> FM. We get real, and then sometimes we get silly. What sometimes we show our dicks and piss in our mouths. Sometimes we have prayers. Don't forget spooky and memorials. Spooky. Sometimes we get spooky too. Sometimes I want. So, I don't want to. I don't want to make people laugh. Sometimes I want to spook. Why spooky. is there eye exam on the wall? wall? <laughs> I used it when I interviewed Jeff. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. See, very dark. Setups were very close. mean Setups to each other. Clunky, right? But I love it, and I wouldn't yeah, have it any other way. Right, if Ryan. Something. Your dark comedy is a gift to this world. More people need to be like you, cracking jokes at funerals. 
Hey, I got an eight o'clock. Are you gonna can you wrap this? Maybe wrap this up soon. Yo, show some Yo, respect. This is, well, bro, I'm, are I'm you just, serious, dude? I mean, he's he's doing something. He's busy. He does. We're talking about a, a, a parent passing away. After you defamed Jesus Christ, I shouldn't even be on the show. Jesus I should Christ. walk off right now. He defamed Jesus Christ, and now you want to support him? Well, he's going to hell. <laughs> Don't put the red on us. I'm not going no, to No, take the red off us, Oscar. I just got out of hell. Put the red on him. This demon. I should be doing drugs off of Hooker's ass. <laughs> did, wait, was that real? Did George actually was say that, that a real one? Yeah, he did segment? That. I should be... Was he quoting Mike? Because that doesn't sound like something that a, a Christian would say. That's not Christian I, behavior. No. All right, continue. I'm sorry. That's not God. I don't have an eight o'clock. No, maybe I actually when we uh, we can talk about my like uh, dad's death when people have time for Ryan, it. Ryan, it, I was just <laughs> it's because he's he's game. No, Mike, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. See you guys. What are we doing? Delivering him a heartfelt notice after he did a cocaine segment like what is this is this re like he could be really doing cocaine he could be like the joker acting he's the one who is using humor to deal with his pain i use humor to deal with my pain too you look at the documentary it looked like a comedy skit you look well, like when does the humor stop it never stops i'll be making jokes on my well that's why bed. i said i had the eight o'clock call i don't have an eight o'clock call he understands he's uh -oh. fucking around oh ready bro's just mad he didn't have a photo with the, my dad to post <laughs> 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 you would do that for clout you would <laughs> bro i'm he surprised you me. didn't post the mac he miller post. mac miller's birthday was two days ago i'm surprised you didn't post i had I, one i had one from a few years back yeah. i was gonna retweet it i was gonna post the haircut one that i had dude that ryan's a real hoot dude I, know. I haven't even got an eight o'clock. I don't got no eight o'clock. So that's the way to now. deal with stuff. I don't, look. I feel like that's the best way to deal with with these things in life. Because like you say, we say all the time, we're on a spinning rock that's just close enough to a spinning ball of fire. I've been that allows us to live on this on this ball, and we don't fly off. And if you think about it, if you think about it, Antarctica's down here at the bottom. I was just We've there been talking about going. Or no, there. you were at the top. You went to the North Pole. Same thing. No, no, it's very, very different. But same principle. So this ball's spinning through space, yep. right? Mm -hmm. Nothing makes sense. Spend time with your loved ones. Make sure you tell them you love them and get the most out of life. You know, if that means going down to Mexico and risking your life, then do it. Or going you know? up to Finland. Or going up to Finland to see the Northern Lights. <sighs> what a beautiful experience. Kind of looks like that lava lamp when it's on. That's what the Northern Lights look like. This episode, you know, it's hit or miss. It's a great so, trip. We about a fifty percent uh, batting average of putting up the. You missed a great trip. I wasn't invited. It was a Logan, You're always invited. Logan trip. He wasn't there. You're always invited, Jeff. You didn't want to come. Yeah. You could have tried to holler at Alex, my assistant. She works for you, so that means she has to take orders from you. So I'm going to let my significant other take orders from you. Fuck that. I would make her quit her job. You're gonna come live here. You're gonna get fucking paid eighteen dollars a fucking. You know we did the math. Yeah. I'm getting her that Van Cleef. You know oh, I'm not dating her employee. <laughs> yo, remember you guys called me about the Van Cleef? I'm like, yo, you want the real or the fake? <laughs> <laughs> Mike was like, ah, how fake does it look? <laughs> well, the thing is, no. You know why I call fake? Because you know jewelers make the aftermarket one. Yeah, yeah. They just the and, then, and then the thing is, they have the one that you buy in the store. It's still real gold. It's just yeah. Same thing with not. the Cartier bracelets. Yeah, there's, Cartier. A, there's a lot of imposters out here in the world. <laughs> Bro, that's how we talk. You know, we get shit wrong. All these foreign names. Yeah. Fucking Cartier. I saw a reindeer up there. In That's Finland. great, bro. You know what we saw? Prostitutes, heroin, drug dealers, and You know murders. what? If you think about it, if you go north most times, you're going to see good stuff. If you go south most times, you're going to see bad stuff. Maybe we'll Think about get... it. Actually, it's actually pretty fucking accurate for the world. Most of the good stuff's going on up north. Not in really? San Francisco. San Francisco's a shithole. Well, the shit, the they worst. killed the guy of Cash App. Then up just there. go further up. Go up further they up. They killed north. the guy that invented Cash App, yeah, right? They blasted him. No, I'm saying all the way. They did. But there was. So you know, go there up was, north, Mike, if you want to get blasted. I'm talking about yeah. further. I'm talking about Fairbanks. They killed Logan Paul's best boyfriend. <laughs> the title in the papers. <laughs> Logan, Paul's, Logan Paul's boyfriend gets killed. <laughs> <laughs> trying to go north. <laughs> trying to go north. <laughs> That's the headline. That a fucking headline would crush, too. Yeah. That that would be really good. Logan yeah. Paul's boyfriend tried to go north. Yeah. All right. Well, what's el what else is going on in the news? Let's see. I had a, a list of topics to talk about. UFC, Sean Strickland. I think he won the fight. You know, 
It was close, but I think he edged him out by the strikes. We watched uh, that show together. We spent a long time. Spent together. a long yeah. We we hung out. We watched that. We lost our money on all the bets. Mm -hmm. And um, funny thing is, somebody said uh, they sent me a DM on that because I posted he just lost five k in the fight, and then they said his girlfriend's never getting out of economy now. And that, <laughs> that was a good one. She um, flew business all the way to fucking Finland. Who? In a mate and a bed in a perfect bed. Good as she should. Who? Who as is she this? Should. My girlfriend. Finally, I didn't pay yeah. for it. Let's end the show oh, no. with what we've been trying to do: movie recommendations. I thought I watched every good movie that was out there. Mike told me about this movie Gattaca. Can I get my own really, segment on the really show? Because then I would actually, I'd really, it would enjoy, I would enjoy it. like the it. weather segment. Can I get like a? Is there a song that you could lead me in on? You or like movie, what's the movie review? Yeah, segment? movie segment. Movie suggestion. Yeah. Yo, welcome back, everybody, to Mike's Movies, where we review like some that. of the the most up and coming movies here in today's. America. We already did good time, so I guess this, your segment already happened today. Uh, this week, I watched a movie called Dumb Money, starring Pete Davidson and Seth Rogen. The movie covered the GameStop uh, Why are you talking frenzy. in spaces? Like, this is you're terrible. Like reading. You're mocking your own segment. This is why you're not going to get a segment. You already suggested a movie. Let's save it for the next one. You suggested Good Time. It's a great movie. I suggested two. I, I also uh, recommend that. I watched Gattaca because of what Sean Strickland's coach said to him in the corner. He said, save nothing for the swim, right? Is that the line? Save nothing for the swim. <laughs> I save nothing for the swim back because it's two brothers that are swimming out. And the, the, the game is to see who could swim out further without quitting. Who's going to quit first? Who's the stronger brother? And then he's the younger brother's always losing. And he's like, how do you do this, man? How the fuck? How are you always doing this? And he's like. I don't save anything for the swim back. And then he drowned and his little brother had to save him and bring him to shore. And that's when he became the big brother. You know, and that's like what you and me, Mike, that's that's like our relationship because I was the good looking one. And then I got in a near death accident that disfigured me. And then you're the slightly less good looking one and you took my place. And now you have to carry on the legacy or Cody. I don't know, either one gonna do this fucking overacting stuff i like wanted that. to do the movie segment okay uh then just say a movie and let's wrap it up the godfather uh, that's too long people these days aren't gonna want to watch that bro, i, I want to do my movie segment bro okay the godfather no i don't want to do that i was talking about dumb money i just was trying to everybody say a movie right now that they like because the show's ending uh I already said good time today, so that's my movie. Dumb money. Dumb Iron money. Claw. <laughs> well, Iron Claw? Oh, yeah. that's out in theaters. So, yeah, okay. you can still go watch it. Let's still go watch it. Kyle. Oh, Casino. Casino? Whoa. Are you just trying to get on my good side here? No, I haven't watched it yet. Is Mike's movies coming back next <laughs> yeah, week or no? Yeah, 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 Mike's movies is a segment. I like it because it's both starts with M. I like Heat. Heat? Great movie. Good yeah. Real bank robber shit. Yep, yep. Real, yeah. almost a true story, too. I How about the great shootout of Los Angeles, 1979, 1991, 1987. Yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, I live by that Bank of America. Yeah, it's on. It's in Laurel. It's in Studio City, right? Yeah, yeah North Hollywood. Yeah. yeah, Laurel Canyon, North Hollywood. It's a huge shootout, but not as good as the movie Dumb Money, starring Pete Davidson. Available right now on Netflix. Great All movie right. about the the GameStop. Sounds promotional now. Crisis. What about Money Train? Well, how can I say it? How can I say it properly to make you happy? Why are you always judging me? Do you ever think for a second, maybe this is how I want to say it? Maybe I want to get excited being character for a second, explain the movie in the way I want to explain it. Why do you always have to do this to me? He used to be out on the corner. Right, guys, he was dealing we in love drugs. you. We'll see you next God week with a whole new check. movie yeah, review so segment, a weather segment, and, and you'll hear about, about I mean, we just had H3 on the show. We got a lineup of guests coming that are insane. Jeff this show is taking off. Everyone's falling off but us. Yeah.